What is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, yes, we are installing some ZL1 side markers on Vader, the 2021 1LE. So, let's go ahead, without further ado, get this video started, man. Let's get Hold on, J.I. Squad. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I just got a quick announcement. I got to let you guys know this because if you don't know, then you must have been under a rock or you must not be following me on Instagram, J.I. Productions underscore tap in. But February 18th, 16 days from today, today that I'm shooting this video, February the 2nd, well, this clip for the video, February the 2nd, you guys have 16 days to the first ever J.I. Cars and Wings meet. This is a monthly meet that I will be throwing every month, one Friday out the month from 7 to 10, partnered with my guys over at Sicilia Pizza or Sippy Paw, whatever you guys want to go over, go by. The flyer is on the screen. It starts at 7, it ends at 10. If you get there before 8.30, free pizza on me you get two slices on the kid also also if that's not enough incentive for you to go we also got the ji special six wings two foot long pizza rolls and last but not least i do have new wheels for vader and i will be revealing them joints at the meet so make sure you guys pull up i'm telling you free pizza or the J.I. special and you get to see the new wheels new reveal first ever live reveal of anything that I've done on the channel come on man why would you not want to be a part of that like I say make sure you guys pull up February 18th 7 to 10 be there before 8 30 be there or be square enjoy the video so we're gonna start off by jacking the car up in the rear that way We'll have easy access to installing all of the drill, well, drilling all of the holes and whatnot, putting all of the screws in. So let's go ahead and get the car jacked up in the air. All right, y'all. So got the car jacked up right now. I think this is going to be high enough for me to get underneath there. Already unboxed the side skirts. Let me let y'all get a good look at that carbon. Sheesh. So these are the Extreme Online Store. Um carbon fiber ZL1 side skirts look at that blend look at that blend from carbon to the the black it's just beautiful it's beautiful y'all real carbon fiber on both sides no no BS y'all know I love real carbon I hate the fake stuff so let the carbon begin I guess <laughs> so in the box you get the side skirts and then you get the hardware with it as well um, we're basically gonna be using all of these bolts, no cap, to try to make sure that the side skirts are on as secure as possible. And then I also want to make an L bracket for it to where I can have the one bolt go into the fender um, in the rear. And then, well not the fender, but the side skirt in the rear. And then the other bolt would basically go to the bottom of this. So the bracket will go like that. And it would be holding this up as well to the chassis. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, I got the side skirt uh, basically marked up with the uh, secondary jack. It's, that's what's holding it in place. I'm going to go ahead and install the screws, and then we'll take off the jack, flip the car on the other side, do the passenger side, and then I'll show you guys the complete product. But, oh, my God, that's disgusting, y'all. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, I got Vader up in the air right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I ended up doing for the mounting process. So as y'all can see right there, I went ahead and put a washer on both this bolt right here and the front bolt on the opposite end. Um, just put a washer on those and then I drilled the holes for the regular bolts and just bolted them up along the actual side skirt of the vehicle and then I went ahead and took the extra precaution and put clips to connect the carbon side skirt to the actual stock side skirt right there right there and then on this side right there and right there now the reason why I wanted to do that is just so say one of these bolts were to rattle out which they most likely won't 
those clips will be there secondary, you know what I'm saying, to hold it in place. And then the washer is there as well, just so that the bolt will grab a little bit more surface area than what it would without the washer, like those are. You dig what I'm you saying? Say you're uh, triple secure. Mm, wow. wow. I don't want to put the light in your, in your face, sir. It's fucked up, but it's man. It's kind of dark down here. I knew you were with the shit. Po -po's. God damn, boy, you light skinned that That's motherfucker. Still up. got you, goddamn cherry black. That shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that shit had you scary black. But yeah, man. So got the clips on there, man. Extra secure. All the oh shit. I'm sorry again. All the piping and everything is taken care of too, man. This right here scares the living shit out of me. I can't even lie to y'all. Let me see. Yeah, that right there scares the hell out of me. How that O2 wire is kind of just hanging like that. I might end up zip tying that off to something. I don't know what I'm gonna put it on, but I'm gonna tie it off to some. And it looks like it is a little loose. The O2 sensor has a little bit of leakage going on. So I might gotta tighten that up. That's just on my end. That's not on the Asus, that's on me. I had undid it to uh, try to unwind that uh, cord and ended up I guess not tightening it down all the way so we got a little bit of a little bit of leakage coming just a little bit of leakage that's all it is y'all so I just finished the install I can't even lie the car looks insane with them it is pretty clean so I'm gonna go ahead and hit you guys with some b-roll for the reveal type deal but dude they look crazy bro let's get it So basically, as you guys can see, we got the carbon fiber ZL1 style side skirts from EOS. And I can't even lie, bro, they look insane. They definitely finish up the ground effects look for the car. I definitely have one more piece coming. The fitment on these joints are perfect. I was able to make them line up exactly with the body lines on both sides. And they don't rub against my rock guards which i'm super stoked about so yeah man now i just need something to complete right here maybe a carbon diffuser carbon trunk the fenders okay let me not get into it too much but yeah man that's actually gonna wrap up today's video if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below get this video a big thumbs up if you like the carbon and i'll see y'all in the next one peace show y'all the driver's side real quick fitment is the same straight with the body line of the car man oh my god when that sun hits that carbon y'all sheesh it just looks so good dude i gotta try not to step on that now but oh my god that one le with the carbon on the feet yeah that's that's the shot right there <laughs> oh my goodness all right, y'all, so that's actually going to wrap up today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about the carbon fiber side skirts. Also, 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 February 18th, 2022. It's a Friday from 7 to 10. Like I said in the beginning of this video, J.I., Wings and Cars, make sure you guys pull up. Come see Vader. Come see the new wheels, all of that. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.